I'm Sarah Eisenberg, founder and publisher of Santa Cruz Tech Beat. Santa Cruz Tech Beat is the go-to source for all things tech in our region, from comprehensive news about local tech business developments and startups, to thought leadership from our local tech ecosystem. Plus, Santa Cruz Tech Beat has job and event listings, resources, and more. I'm here to tell you about some current developments in the local tech scene that you need to know. Let's start off with some hot news from Looker, a business intelligence startup headquartered in Santa Cruz. Looker has just secured $48 million in funding. They'll use this to accelerate the company's growth in sales, marketing, and engineering, as well as to fuel further international expansion. Looker has raised a total of $96 million since launching in 2013. Looker, we hope you'll stay in Santa Cruz. Electric skateboards are a hot new trend. A variety of companies in and out of Santa Cruz are developing electric skateboards. One such company is Santa Cruz-based Inboard Technology. Inboard's first product is the M1 electric skateboard. Central Coast Angels, a local investment group, recently funded Inboard with a substantial seed investment. What's substantial? They didn't say. Ed Colligan, a member of Central Coast Angels said Inboard's product, brand, and management team, many of whom are action sports experts, are a perfect fit for Santa Cruz. The M1 is the first skateboard with motors inside the wheels, so it's very low profile. Another local company, Calliope Waterworks, recently made a big splash at CES, the annual consumer electronics show in Las Vegas. Calliope competed in the TechCrunch hardware battlefield. Calliope's water monitoring product helps home water users see how their water is being used, including leak alerts. Fourteen startups competed in the hardware battlefield. Pitching to judges on stage, the startups competed for $50,000 and to be named the winner of the competition. While Calliope didn't win, being included in this competition provided great exposure at CES and beyond. Speaking of local companies, Monarch Media, an award-winning e-learning company, is collaborating with the Eurasian Center for Food Security at Moscow State University, yes, the one in Russia, to develop two online master's degree programs, both focused on food security needs in the Eurasian region. The programs will equip students for careers in agribusiness, natural resources management, and food security. This project is a great example of how Monarch's work in e-learning has a global impact. In UCSC News, the Baskin School of Engineering has just named Alexander Wolf as the new dean, effective July 1st. Wolf comes to UCSC from Imperial College London. He will succeed Joe Konopelski, who has served as interim dean since Art Ramirez stepped down in July 2014. In other Baskin Engineering news, the school recently hired acclaimed independent game developer Aaron Robinson Swink to be the creative de director of the master's degree program in games and playable media at UCSC's Silicon Valley Center. As creative director, Swink will develop the overall creative vision for the program and will, will represent the program to the international game development community. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time for more news and developments from the Santa Cruz tech scene. And of course, for the latest news, jobs, events, Anytime, go to santacruztechbeat.com.